Alright, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, we're doing our Europa Conference League group stage draw reaction. So, guys, like and subscribe. And yeah, let's go subscribe with Group A, guys. So, remember, guys, we'll do a live stream to break down these groups um, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, group A, we have Leo, Slovenia, Bunches by Olympia, Lubana, KI. Oh, I feel so bad for KI. This is such a difficult group. I, I think this is very clearly obvious which two teams are going to progress. I hope I'm wrong, though, but I'm not going to tell which teams I have advancing, but it's probably very obvious. So, yeah, I hope KI could do well. It'll be amazing if they can. Group B, we have Gen, Makeba, Tel Aviv, Zorhead, Lunisk, and Berylbeck. Once again, another very difficult group for Berylbeck. I don't think they're going to do it. Um, and I think it's very clear which two teams are progressing. I don't even need to really elaborate there, I don't think. In Group C, we have Dinamo Zayag, Victoria Pleasant, Astana, and Balkani. Now, this one, I could see a surprise. I could see... I could see Astana or Balkani qualify, even though they're probably not the favorites. It's going to be difficult, um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Dinamo Zayag is probably the favorites, though, to top. In the Group D, we have Club Bruges, Bodo Glenn, Besiktas, Lugano. They, this is an interesting one, you know, actually, because... Besiktas is a good team, guys. And we know how good they are at home. This is going to be a difficult group because there's could be there could be a possibility one of Club Rouge or Bodo Glimt will advance. And I'm still not completely convinced with Club Rouge. I, I know they defeated Osasuna, which is a big team to get to the stage. But I don't know, man. They Domestically, they haven't been as good. But who knows? Maybe this season they are back. You know, we'll see. Group E, we have AZ Alcamora, Aston Villa, Legia Warsaw. And Zerinsky, Moster. Now, this is a group that Aston Villa should be fine with. However, I do think AZ and AZ Alkmaar will give them a good challenge. In the group F, we have Ferenc, Varos, Fiorentina, Genk, Kukraki. I mean, it's very clear which team is the favorite in this group. Well, actually, to be fair, that's interesting because Ferenc, Varos, and Genk is a very good matchup. I like that matchup. Could be a very interesting. In group G, we have Eintracht, Frankfurt, Park, HJK, Aberdeen. I mean... I feel bad for AJK. This is going to be a difficult group. I I give the best of luck to Michael Talks Football. But yeah, I, I feel like for me, this is very obvious. In Group H, we have Ferenbache, Ludogorets, Sparta, Turnavi, and Norshalen. So yeah, I feel like Group H is pretty obvious. I feel like most of these groups, guys, I'll be honest with you guys, is pretty decisive, pretty obvious. Except Group D. I think Group D is my favorite of the bunch because I feel like this one could be very interesting. And even though I didn't really talk too much about Lugano, they could surprise so I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Which one's your favorite? Which one's the least favorite? And yeah, guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.